Yo, it's your boy DC Tree from DCTreeDashNation.com. We'll be covering hoops and heroes. And today we're talking heroes. Jessica Jones, season two. Should you spend your time watching this show? The answer to that is yes. But don't be in a hurry. Because this show definitely has its issues. Okay, first off, if you are a fan of Jessica Jones season one, then you need to give season two a try because, you know, Jessica Jones is still Jessica Jones. I mean, she's still a jerk. She's still charismatic. She's still funny. So you should give it a try. Um, I do think season two did use the supporting cast a little bit better. They went deeper into the roles of the supporting cast, if you want to say that. Um, Malcolm, for one, oh, man, 360. You know, his character was so much better this season. That usually happens when you get off drugs. <laughs> you know, you spent most of season one high. So he's clean in this one and it shows and he's helpful. And I just love seeing his character evolve. Trish, on the other hand, her character definitely took a step back. She was a burden to Jessica, a burden to the story. She was making silly decisions it was almost like the preppy kid trying to be street smart. She wanted to be street smart so bad that she was just making things harder than it had to be. She needed to play her role and stay the rich, famous girl, stay in her lane, you know? Uh, Ma's character was awesome. Man, the acting job on her character and the writing surrounding her character was wonderful. It was really the highlight of the season. And like she had a couple story arcs in there that really panned out and kept me interested in the show. Um they definitely missed Kilgrave, okay? He does, you know, you saw in the trailer, so it's not a spoiler. He does make an appearance in here, but not like not the way you think. The new villain they have just kind of falls short for several reasons, but I don't want to give anything away. Um they definitely miss Luke Cage in this. Man. Season one had Luke Cage here and there. They needed him in this, but I understand because he has his own show and everything. But man, um, the show as a whole was missing something. All in all, the show was okay. I mean, I think you should check it out. But if you decide to skip this one, I couldn't blame you. It was missing something. So I had to give it a six out of ten. Uh, too many missed opportunities. Not enough action. The story kind of drug out, man. Man. It's pretty disappointing. All right, guys, that's it for this one. For more information on Heroes, check us out at the main page, dctrue-nation.com. Like us on Facebook. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, peace.